He called me up and abused me frightfully. He said I did it purposely for publicity. Sure, that's fine. Didn't I tell you that guy was a no-good immigrant? That's a closed chapter in my life. Besides, an American must be the father of my child. Well, for... Say, what's the matter with you? You're an American, aren't you, Jim? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what they told me. Jim, I'm serious. Why don't we get married like we should have done in the first place? Lola. And have lots of little babies. Say, what's got into you? What's the idea of this fancy dress costume? Jim, didn't you ever feel the call of fatherhood? Hey, wait a minute. I mean to create things. Life. Keep the world going on. To, well, like the trees and, and the little birds and... There. Like, like Fanny there. Fanny? Yes, the big one. I call her Fanny on account of a fan tail. But the man at the bird store said that she was going to lay some eggs. Isn't that sweet? Honey, why don't you go upstairs and lie down? Maybe that's the reason I've been so upset and miserable, Jim. You know, deep down in every girl's heart, there's the desire for the right of all womanhood. Beside her fireplace, with her husband and her children around Say, her. listen, you can't raise a family and make five pictures a year. Oh, look, Lola, you're, you're just in a mood and you're playing a scene with yourself. I'd like to have a camera turning on you right now, say you'd be a sensation. Holy smoke. I got a story conference at 12 o'clock, but I'll be back just as soon as we're through. Because I've heard enough to know that it's going to be Lola and Jim again. Oh, uh, honey, you just think you want a baby, that's all. Why don't you call up some orphan asylum and tell them to send you over one on a 30-day free trial? <laughs> 